Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited today because we're going to be opening up the Softflex Company Beading Design Challenge Kit. I've opened up quite a few of them and I've never been disappointed. Now, if you're not familiar with this kit, I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video, along with a link to the website in case you want to check it out. And I can't wait to see what's in this kit, so let's go ahead and get started. And here we have the Softflex Company Monthly Mystery Design Challenge Kit. This kit was launched on March 27th and they usually do the reveal on the Softflex Company Facebook page. They open up the kit and usually they do a project. So if you haven't joined that page, I encourage you to do it because it's a great place to meet other people and see other people's designs. And if you do buy the kit and design something, you can post your design on that Facebook page for a chance to win a prize. So that's another reason to join that page. But anyway, this kit retails for $34.95. And by the time you see this video, it might be sold out. But if it is, they have other kits available on the website. A little bit about the Softflex company. It's based out of Sonoma, California, and it's a small family-run business. They specialize in flexible beading wire, but they also carry their own line of craft wire, as well as various findings and tools, and a good selection of beautiful gemstones and glass beads. And don't you just love the way they decorated this package? It's so pretty. Now, it does come with a list of contents, and as you can see, the name of this kit is Rainy Day, and it has quite a few items, and I can't wait to see what's in it. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to have to cut this in order to get into it, but I'm trying not to cut this beautiful beaded thing. It looks like we have some blues and purples. How pretty is that? Let me open it up. Here's the beading wire. Look at that beautiful blue color. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. The name of this color is Tanzanite. And here's the Jesse James Beads Design Elements Bead Mix. They always put together a custom bead mix for these kits. I love what I'm seeing. Let me go ahead and get organized and we'll go through each item. And here we have three strands of really beautiful Czech beads. I love these two colors together, the blue and the purple. Let's take a look at these rectangle beads. They're called dark blue AB chrome rectangles, and they have a very interesting design on the surface. And even though they're dark blue, they're very transparent. How pretty is that, guys? Look at that. They're so pretty. I love that chrome effect. The chrome effect looks like it has a square design of some sort. I really like that. Let's take a look at these now. These are very unique looking. They're listed as dark blue table cut check glass ovals. Look at that lovely swirl design. It's kind of shimmery looking, but what's so unique about these is the shape. I just love this shape. It's kind of an elongated oval shape. Very, very pretty. I love these as well. The color is very similar to the rectangles. And let's take a look at these rondelles. This is a very pretty color. I love it. It's listed as light purple and these measure three by five millimeters. They're kind of semi-transparent. How pretty are these? They're so pretty. Very, very nice. So far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Let me get some more beads. And here we have a lovely bead mix and some metals and some crimp tubes. These two came in their own separate bag, but the three bags were stapled together. And I'm not sure why Softflex Company does that. I'm gonna have to call them and find out. I'm sure there's a reason. But anyway, let's take a look at these beads. I'm gonna load them on my rod. And here are some of them, it's not all of them. The blue ones measure 12 millimeters across and they're listed as blue ridged check glass discs. And you can see why they're ridged on the sides. I love these because they're so unique. I've never seen these kinds of disc beads before. And they are a little bit transparent. Let me get a light and I'll shine it behind them. I use my spare iPhone light. As you can see, they're somewhat transparent. But anyway, what I like about these is the color. It's such a pretty blue color. And these are check glass rondelles. The color is purple and they measure nine millimeters across. What I like about these is that they look like they're gemstones because each one is different as you can see. Aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful. Very, very nice. And look at these cute charms. We have two umbrellas and three clouds. We also have some earwire hooks. There's a total of four and one lobster clasp. Let's take a look at these charms. How adorable are these? They're so adorable. There's the back of the umbrella charm. Now these umbrella charms are vintage umbrella charms and they're made out of brass. 
I absolutely love these. Of course, they'd make great earrings, but you could definitely use them on a bracelet. And I love these clouds as well. So cute. Let's take a look at these now. The ear wire hooks are gunmetal plated, and they're the kind that have the little metal bead or ball. And the lobster clasp is also gunmetal plated, and it measures 12 millimeters across. Let's take a look at these tubes, crimp tubes. I love Softflex Company crimp tubes. They're such good quality. These measure two by two millimeters, and they're made out of black oxidized silver. And guys, trust me, if you ever have trouble crimping, which I know a lot of people do, I have trouble sometimes, try using the Softflex Company crimp tubes. When you use good quality crimp tubes, it's much easier. The nice thing about them is that they don't crack because they're made out of silver. Sometimes when you use cheap crimp tubes, they crack if you crimp them too hard. But anyways, you can see this kit has a lot of the things that you need to make quite a few jewelry items, either a bracelet or a necklace and earrings as well. Of course, you could always use your own clasps and make many, many things because there's a lot of beads in this kit. Let me go ahead and get the next item. And here we have a wonderful bead mix. As you can see, it's packaged and it's sealed in this bag. So let me go ahead and open up the bag. Look at all these beads, guys. And I love the colors. I'm seeing some teardrop shaped beads and lots of rondelles and they're all faceted. Let me go ahead and put some on my rod. And here are some of them. I tried to pick up as many colors as I could. As you can see, we have purples, we have blues, grays, a milky white. I'm not sure what color this is, but it's very pretty and it has an AB finish. And we have some light blue and some dark blue rondelles as well. And then we have these teardrop shaped beads over here. And look how they're drilled. They're drilled on an angle. So that's kind of cool. Very different. And the rondelles are all about the same size. I thought there were some round beads, but there isn't. They're all rondelles, but I absolutely love these. I love this color combination. It's so pretty. And we have enough here to make a necklace and a bracelet for sure. And possibly some earrings as well. It's definitely a very generous amount. Look at this. It's such a pretty bead mix, it really is. This mix is called a Blue Crystal Mix from Bead Doria, and I haven't heard of that company. I'm gonna have to look it up, but I absolutely love it. Let me get some more items. And here we have the Jesse James Beads Design Elements Bead Mix. Like I said before, Jesse James Beads puts these bead mixes together specifically for these kits. And as you can see, the name of the bead mix is Rainy Day Blues. Let me go ahead and open it up. What a gorgeous array of colors. We have purple, aqua, teal, light blue, dark blue. These are so gorgeous. I absolutely love these colors. Let me go ahead and slide them onto my rods. As you can see, I have them all on three rods. And as I was sorting them by size, I automatically sorted them by color as well. Now I didn't thread these on the rods because of the way they're drilled. They're like tiny rivulets with a hole drilled through the top. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. It's like a very deep, rich blue color. And they're actually a little bit transparent as well. You could use jump rings through that or do some wire wrapping. And there's a total of six. Let me show you these. These are the larger ones, as you can see. We have these beautiful pave round beads. And I did put these bead caps on there so you can see how it changes the bead. But anyway, there's a total of four. And then we have these rhinestone spacer beads. I love these. I love the purple color. And here we have some daisy spacers. There's a total of four there. And we have these faceted oval coins, coin beads. I think they're actually a black color and they're opaque. Very nice. Let's take a look at these. We have some twisted oval beads here and they're faceted, as you can see, in a beautiful blue color, very transparent. And then we have these ones here with very large holes. We have these disc beads and they're metallic. I love the texture of these. And then we have these faceted rectangle beads in a deep blue color, just like these. It's nice to get a variety of shapes and sizes. Let's take a look at the tiny ones. I did hang these on the end, as you can see. They're faceted cube beads with a bale attached. 
So that makes it really handy if you want to make earrings. And here we have some cube beads in a beautiful blue color. Some more rhinestone spacer beads. And these table cut oval beads. And these are faceted on the sides as well, as you can see. Aren't these pretty? They're so pretty. But anyway, I'm very happy that they included small beads. And like I said before, this combination of the purple, the dark blue and the light blue is absolutely gorgeous. Now, in addition to all these beads, we also received some beading wire. And this beading wire is by Softflex. It's the medium weight, as you can see, and it's 0 0.019 inches thick or 0.48 millimeters. The test strength is 26 pounds, so that's quite a bit. And there's 10 feet of beading wire on this spool. And like I said, this color is Tanzanite. It's so pretty. I love this shade of blue. And guys, if you've never used the Softflex beading wire, you're missing out because it's really good quality. It's one of the best in the market. What I like about it is that it doesn't kink. And the other neat thing about it is that it comes in an array of colors. So now I'd like to go ahead and arrange everything in my workspace so you can see the entire collection. And here we have the entire collection. Can you believe the amount of beads, guys? That's quite a bit. I would never have guessed that that package contained all these beads. You have so many choices here. And even though it only came with one clasp, like I said before, you can make several necklaces and bracelets if you wanted to with your own clasps. And I don't know which is my favorite because they're all so pretty. I guess if I were to pick, I'd probably pick the purple ones because that's my favorite color. But I love all these blue ones and I do like these rectangle beads. They're so interesting. And I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with this bead mix. And I guess I love the charms as well. I think they're adorable. And you know what else? I was actually able to save this. I didn't cut this. I'm definitely going to use it to decorate a gift. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's unbagging. I certainly did. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the website so you can check out their kits. They have other kits besides this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.